Okay, this is a fair bit cooler this morning. 26.4 Celsius below, feels like minus 35. So this is January in Labrador. Beautiful morning this morning. A little touch of wind, cold. Sun is not up yet, but it's supposed to be a nice sunny day. Which is good for the solar panels and the energy. Well, everybody, here's my brand new uh, stove hearth, hearth. I guess I call it hearth being from Newfoundland, but um, this is how it turned out. Uh, I just filmed four or five days of various things around the cabin. This building of this hearth being the main focus. And I took a very detailed account for you guys. And uh, I let my stove die down a little bit so it got cooler and, and I talked about the catalytic com combustor inside and I showed how simple it was to look at it, inspect it, clean it, all of that stuff. Um, I actually left my stove in place and instead of moving my stove out of the way and building the hearth, I actually built the hearth out in the middle of my cabin floor and I took some hoists that my uh, uh, friends, uh, Johnny and Rick, gave me to, to use. And it was their idea. And I actually hoisted up the stove and put the hearth, once I completed it, back in place and laid the stove down on it. It was a pretty, uh, a pretty big going on, I guess we'd call it. Um, and it worked so well. And I just couldn't wait to show you guys how it all took place and how I built this hearth. I put a lot of time into it. I was really particular. And uh, all the footage is gone. Uh, plus the other things that I, I talked about in the cabin. It was, a, it was supposed to be a really good update because I haven't been releasing many videos. Uh, I've just been so busy at working. But I did take the time and, uh, and film a lot and don't know if it was just a bad SD card, but it's gone. So that's it. So you're getting the very condensed version. I'm not quite finished here. I am going to uh, finish off my mantle and stuff today, and I will quickly update you on some of the other things I've been working on. So here we go, the condensed version. Thanks to modern technology and difficulties. So of course you guys know I love this stove and it's been working so well. And it's Blaze King Ashford 30.2. Uh, it's the latest version, I guess. So uh, I took a lot of time and I built this nice hearth. And the backsplash up the back here. This is all ceramic back here. This is porcelain tile. And uh, of course I, I mortared it all in place. And then I grouted all the seams thereafter. I've actually exceeded um, all requirements that are needed to be away from combustible materials and you have to have it a certain distance your hearth or non-combustible material has to be a certain width on the sides plus the front I've exceeded that my stove is actually further away from the wall than it needs to be it's required this is not actually part of the stove right here you gotta look at this part inward and my stove pipe is double walled if you have a double walled stove pipe you can be a lot closer to uh, combustibles actually you can be almost three times as close so I only have to be about six or eight inches from my stove pipe when I build my mantle portion now but before I start building that mantle uh, the cupboards everything that we have going here is working fantastically well so pleased um, everything's functioning the fridge and our microwave oven our stove of course is propane we have our new kitchen set up here and that just works fabulously so hot and cold water right on demand all you want and we got our coffee machines all that stuff works aspen's here this morning willow is away on a little sleepover with andrew so she's by herself for the last day or so and she's just not quite settled she misses her little sister her big sister i guess I have a propane heater here that I would use only if I was uh, gone away for a few days or whatever. I just want to keep the warmth in here. That works really well. It's really hot. 
bathroom just ahead of some shelves and stuff. Just, you know, just kind of picking around at things as we go along there. Mel's in there in the bedroom, which is uh, doubles as an office these days. She's working away there. This is going to be the spare room, but of course it's been uh, uh, converted to a workshop for the past month or so. Trying to contain the sodas and whatever. And I'm starting to clean this one up now because I'm starting to get most of the carpentry stuff done. So I have my battery center all cleaned up. And uh, this has been working extremely well. I'm really pleased that way that this turned out. I have my six volt battery system down here. The Blue Eddy just takes the show. This is my main power source for the cabin. And of course, I, as I mentioned, I run microwave, you can run uh, your coffee makers, clothes, dryer, that kind of stuff, all off this. And it doesn't even make the lights blink. I got my battery bank uh, going through a Renogy 3000 watt inverter. I think it's around five or 600 bucks, not extremely expensive. And Renogy is a good name. I have the corresponding charge controller here that's the Starlink we're running that's our internet that is working flawlessly very very good you can make phone calls and internet and whatever and it's on like fiber op speed got a fuse panel put in wiring all done these are just wires I have put here for my solar panels that'll be wired into the system once it uh, warms up and I can get up top on the roof again to do some work I have three power sources my batteries my gas generator and my blue eddy and that's all controlled by a master switch here i got it on setting three now which of course is the blue eddy i can switch it back and forth just at the click the switch i can go over to my gas generator or i can go over to my batteries just like that just put a flick of a switch but as mentioned the blue eddy is the smoothest so we'll uh, stay on that one and just a little spoiler, don't forget you can use a code if you want to order one of these for yourselves uh, for your cabin or home or whatever. It's a terrific backup. I'll put the code up on the screen. And a little spoiler, I'm getting another one of these, only it's going to be much, much bigger. And it's going to service a lot more components. So stay tuned. A huge shout out to all those people who bought merchandise since my last video. And I know a ton of you bought merchandise during the Christmas season. Send me your photos. I'd love to feature you on an upcoming video. And always, thanks for your support. Every time I come up to clean the panels in the morning, I get rewarded with the first glimpse of the sun. I just love it. water system I'm very proud of my water system the way it turned out it works really really well one of the best running operations in, in, in the entire cabin I think it's all run off a t uh, 12 volt pump and it goes right into this hot water on demand here and that produces hot water it's it's actually too hot I mean I actually got it turned on almost down to 50% and even now you got to be careful you don't burn yourself it works very very well I added my pressure tank after, and that made all the difference. Everything runs much, much more smoothly. Because a lot of things that you run on water these days are energy savings. Right now she's up on about 40 PSI. That'll drop down to about uh, 15 PSI or so, and it'll just pop back up again. Of course, you see my other videos. I have my pump down in my well. I don't keep any water in my lines at all. And I have this set up now on a floating switch system. So what happens is the water goes down to about right there. The switch that's floating inside senses that it's low, turns the pump on, the pump fills it up right to the top and shuts it off again. So I never had to touch that at all. It just completely maintains itself. Tons of pressure, hot and cold water. Toilet. Washers are ready to go in your house. The shower works just like it would. Home. Back in town, lots of pressure and lots of heat. Okay, you see my, I uh, just used a bit of water there and the pressure tank cut back in. And now it should just pop right back up to about 40 PSI and shut up again. There we go. Right on cue, Melanie's gonna put in a load of clothes there now. So the stackable 
a clothes washer and a propane dryer and it's been working fantastic all the clothes and stuff that I've washed and dried <laughs> all the clothes that I've washed and dried have I done it yet? Oh, yeah. by the way I changed my wind generator I couldn't get any satisfaction at all through the first one so I went to Canadian Tire about a Coleman 400 watt they've been producing them for I'd say 15 20 years and they just work it's not as high as some wind generators, but it uh, certainly maintains the battery. Just kind of did it today, and that was a little bit of wind. Anyway, I don't usually make videos where I talk at length like that. I don't like that because I know it's kind of boring. But I just wanted to update you guys what I would have shown in all that beautiful footage I just lost. So now it's time to get back at this metal. open the door let some dust go out just shows you how cold it is get inside it's 19.2 uh, degrees celsius just a comfortable temperature see the solar is working pretty good today i have 400 watts uh, worth of panels um for this blue eddy and right now we got 320 roughly coming in so that's pretty good uh, power out Put from those 400 watt panels now likewise uh, these panels are bringing in a little over 300 watts out of a 400 watt panel as well and the battery's around 85 percent 12.9 volts when it's sunny and or windy you don't have to worry don't touch don't touch Well guys, that's an update as of today. Hopefully we don't lose any more footage again. Hello doggies. Just gonna dust off my skidoo that's been neglected this winter. We haven't got a lot of snow, but we're soon gonna start cutting some, some serious wood here and setting out some rabbit slips. So stay tuned for those videos. And until the next video, take care of each other. Get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time, guaranteed. We'll see you next time, guaranteed. Get outside.